back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Eagles, Psychic Medium Astrologer. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Gemini woman. So let's see, who are some celebrity Gemini women um, that we can identify as a reference? So some immediate people that come to mind, we got Angelina Jolie, Venus Williams, Patti LaBelle, Lisa Lefty Lopez, Zoe Zaldana, Lauren Hill, Naomi Campbell, um, Heidi Klum, and Coco from SWV. I'm sure there's many more famous Gemini women, but those are just some of the ones that immediately stand out to me. So, Gemini woman, what are some characteristics or some words that I use to describe the Gemini woman. Intellectual, dynamic, cheerful, changeable, charming, bubbly, and I would say stubborn too. Gemini woman can be a little stubborn. We'll talk about that um, a little later in the video. But one thing that you'll immediately notice about the Gemini woman is that she has a lot of personality. The Gemini woman has a lot of range. This is a natural storyteller. And that's one thing that I want more people to understand. So fellas, if you're watching this video, here's what you need to know. Ladies, if you're watching this video, whoever's watching this and you're interested in the Gemini woman, here's what you need to know. The Gemini woman is ruled by Mercury. So Mercury, um, is a planet that deals with communication. It also rules over Virgo, but Virgo is more calculating um, and a little bit more reserved than Gemini. The Gemini woman does that have, have that side. That's part of that, that hidden twin. I'm not gonna call it an evil twin. I'm gonna call it the hidden twin. The hidden twin because it's that shadow side. So a lot of people don't understand that, that Gemini energy really does embody the light and the dark energy. What do I mean by that? The Gemini woman, she's a natural storyteller. Some people view this as her being manipulative. Some people view this as her being herself, her being entertaining. Um, the Gemini woman, whether you like it or not, she her nature is gonna make her consistently up to date on the latest gossip. She's gonna know who drop kicked who, who baby daddy left, who getting divorced, you know, who is having a quinceanera, who needs a curandera, you know, she knows everything that's going on, okay, in the neighborhood. But sometimes the Gemini woman don't always tell her business and that can sometimes rub people the wrong way. So Gemini women, if you give a bone, you know, you gotta, if you take a bone, you gotta give a bone to have whatever the saying is. Um, so that's another thing too, that I want to highlight on um, as well, that although the Gemini woman is very communicative, sometimes she is not always communicative about essential information. So Gemini woman, she's very talkative. She's very dynamic. She has a very um, sociable personality. The Gemini woman can adapt in any kind of environment. And this could be a good thing or this can also be a not so good thing, because for some people, they're going to see this and they're going to be like, hmm, this person is very changeable. I really don't know who they are or which side of them is the real them. With the Gemini woman being highly mercurial, she also has the ability to look at situations in a multitude of facets. So her nature is very duplicitous, as I mentioned, meaning that she can look at a situation from all different sides now again this is not a really a bad thing it's not really a good thing but sometimes when it comes down to love people can become very possessive or very fixed or they want people to prove things in a definitive manner the gemini's woman nature is naturally very changeable it's like the gemini woman she's an air sign so the best way to understand her is literally think of nature nature does not stay the same nature is constantly changing you know the breeze is not the same you know strength that it it is during a hurricane you know um during the still of the night you know it's a lot softer and gentler 
um, during a, a storm, you know, the wind is going to be gusty, you know, during a um, a summer night, it might be more balmy, you know, so that's what you have to think of in terms of the Gemini woman. We I, I really like to encourage people um, to because I know a lot of astrologers, they're like, you know, people are more than their sun sign. You know, you have to look at the whole chart. Yes, you do. You do have to look at the whole chart, but most people are not going to look at the whole chart. So let's give them some information that's going to help them to understand the nature of the person that they're dealing with. So air, you cannot contain air. You can't hold air. Air is constantly changeable. So you got to accept the Gemini woman. She has a very changeable nature. Um, that can be a really good thing. Sometimes change needs to occur. You know, so if you have a lot of earth energy, you might be really stable and stagnant, you know, so maybe it's good to have a gust of air come in to be like, all right, let me shift some things around. Now, what's fascinating about the Gemini woman is the Gemini woman can sometimes be very stiff in the bedroom. She can be very stiff in the bedroom because she is very cerebral. So this can come out in a number of ways. Sometimes she can be very neurotic where she's like thinking about everything you know it's like she can't get her mind to stop thinking about it could be really mundane stuff like something as simple as like wow like there's a piece of lint you know on the bed or you know it could be like oh these sheets smell like downy do you use downy i used to use downy when i was a kid you know it, it could be like her just really going off on different tangents and it's like okay this is this ain't really helping me you know get my sexy on right now <laughs> like I, I don't care about none of that. And in her mind, it's like she naturally is just picking up on different stuff. Sometimes it could even be um, her being unable to just kind of tap into that sensuality because maybe the Gemini woman doesn't realize that. Um, and I apologize, you guys, if there's any um, outside noise that you guys are hearing. Um, but sometimes I think some Gemini women could improve their relationships and overall satisfaction by embracing that laughter can be an aphrodisiac when it's used properly now sometimes gemini women can say things at the wrong time so we do want to be cognizant of when is the right time to you know to, to lay on that laughter and that charm but in the bedroom gemini women can really laugh and that can sometimes like throw a partner off you know like if you in there and you like you getting long john stroked and you looking she laughing and you like what's what's funny like this is you know i got the got the isaac hayes playing for you you know what i'm saying got the candles lit what are you laughing at and in her mind she's like wow this is a new sensation i've never felt this before and this is making me tingle you know and that in her mind is making her laugh you know it could be a number of different things maybe she's just like who knows what the Gemini woman, who knows what she's thinking. Um, but that's why it's really important to communicate that to your partner. Um, you want to communicate what it is that you need. Role play can be very sexy for this woman because she naturally likes to use her mind. A shorty, a shorty, let me talk to you for a minute. That's your man. Oh, that's just your friend. You got a man, shorty? Oh, word. You got a man, but you out here by yourself? You sound like he a fool to me. Come on, let me talk to you. Pretty stilettos. I see them toes, baby. What's your name? Gemini women. Role play. Role play, role play, role play can really be a big aphrodisiac to these women because sometimes it's easier for them to transform into a different character or embody a different character than it is for them to just be settled inside themselves. The diva does, the diva, sometimes a Gemini woman does have the reputation of being a diva. Um, I don't really think being a diva is a bad thing because, I mean, like, when I think of Patti LaBelle, she, she can back it up to be a diva. You know, Faith Evans, like, Coco, they all are really, really talented singers, and you know that they know that they're talented. You just know from the way that they carry themselves on stage. Now, I'm going to talk about Faith, and I'm going to talk about Left Eye because... Gemini woman does have that hidden aspect and it's really important for the Gemini woman to be able to bring all of herself to a partnership. So the Gemini woman, she can go from being very funny, ha ha ha, to then just being really dark and you're like, okay, where the heck did all this macabre energy come from? Like you, you good? And 
you know, it really can be a little um, hard for partners to understand that. But you got to understand, again, this is air. So unlike water, which is more emotional based, this is more mentally based. So we know, obviously, left eye, you know, she had her own woes and relationships. But I honestly think sometimes, though, that and Faith Evans, too, Faith Evans verbally has mentioned, you know, not being afraid to throw hands. Her and Biggie both are Gemini. I think Biggie is a Gemini. So that's an interesting combination, too. Do you Gemini women can sometimes tend to um, attract partners who bring out that hidden side. Um, and I think sometimes Gemini women like that because sometimes Gemini women think they feel like and Gemini women. Let me know in the comments whether or not you agree. But I think sometimes Gemini women get tired of having to follow a mold. And I think sometimes like say a Gemini woman is like an accountant because Gemini women are very intelligent. People give them a lot of credit for being very humorous and funny. But Gemini women are very intelligent as well. But on a sinister side, you know, an accountant, she could be like, look, I'm bored. I don't feel like doing this. I want to do something else. And maybe just start fudging the numbers and being like, let me see how long it takes them to, you know, figure this out or something like little things like that. So it's like you have to find an outlet, Gemini, in order for you to stay mentally at ease. The Gemini woman loves to tell stories. Gemini woman, maybe you could write some books. It's a great way to tell story. You can tell lies and make really great money for a living. Um, acting can be a really great you know, way to express that in a healthy manner. And the reason I say a healthy manner is because sometimes, Gemini, you can really be misleading because you give a lot of information, but it may not necessarily be information that's pertinent. So the Gemini woman can sit and talk and flirt with you all night. But it's like at the end of the day, you really don't. It, I'm not going to say it wasn't of substance because the Gemini woman, she has she has a lot of intellect. But sometimes it's like, who are you outside of this? Like, I feel like you have on a like you're turning on a personality. And I want to know who are you when you turn off that personality. So I think sometimes Gemini women can stand to reassure their partners. Gemini women naturally love to flirt. You know, just like Libra men naturally are flirters, um, Gemini women, they naturally just flirt. That's just what it is. I would say, though, Gemini woman, you might want to be cognizant. Like if you're in front of your partner and they're more conservative, you know, you don't want to rub that in their face because that that can be problematic. Um, so just be mindful of that. But then on the flip side, I think we do have also understand that flirting comes second nature to a Gemini woman. So. This is like why you really can't take everything that she says seriously, because sometimes she just like to say stuff just for conversation. You know, so sometimes people take everything that Gemini says as like their truth when it's like that was what needed to be said in that moment. You know, like, oh, I just said that because that's what that moment needed. Gemini is very good for understanding what the moment needs and requires. Again, People can look at this in a number of ways. Some people could be like, wow, that's really freaking disingenuous. So you only told me you cared about me because you seen that I was crying. And they're like, yeah, you were crying. I mean, so I told you that I cared about you because I knew that you needed that. Then that's a part of me consoling you. But I don't feel that way now. And you looking like, well, damn, I'd rather would you just not freaking console me. <laughs> and they're like, but you felt better, though, right? You You felt better in the end, right? You didn't know that I didn't feel that way until now. If I hadn't have told you. So Gemini, be easy with the mind games because Gemini can play mind games really, really well. Gemini sometimes just likes to, again, throw things out there and see how other people respond to it. It's just kind of like that peacock energy. Peacocks love to show their feathers for the attention. You know, it's like you, you really you can't take that, you know, in a negative way. I really feel like Gemini's, though, have a great ability to understand what needs to be done in the given moment. I feel like Gemini people bring a lot of Gemini women bring a lot of lighthearted energy to the conversation, to the table. Um, and I just want to encourage a lot more Gemini women to embrace laughter as an aphrodisiac. Um, also embrace, you know, your ability to take on different characters, you know, use that as a plus for you and not for a negative. And I think you'll be able to attract more of the partners that you want um, as well. Also too, Gemini, I think understanding when to share 
a story and when not to share a story or how much to elaborate on a story or how much not to elaborate on it is really important. Sometimes discretion and a little modesty can go a long way. Doesn't mean that you have to change or completely tone down your colorful personality. No, embrace all of that because that's the energy that you were cosmically blessed with. But I do think it's important to understand that sometimes people don't understand how you're able to balance so many different opinions and viewpoint or how you're able to connect many different people and people who may even be contrary to one another. So recognizing that that is something that could be very unique to you and special um, can go a long way in helping other people to understand you. Though I do think that Jim and I, especially the woman, I think you guys get off on being misunderstood sometimes. I think you like kind of having people on their toes and like, does she like me? Does she not like me? One way that I know the Gemini woman, um, that the Gemini woman is attracted um, to me or to someone else is when she's very quiet. When a Gemini woman doesn't have anything to say, because this woman always has something to say. So whenever you ask her a question and she's lost for words and you know, you know, whether or not you're being ignored or not, you know, whether or not she's actively engaged in the conversation and she's actively engaged and you ask her a question and she's just kind of giving you this look like with her eyes, like, mm, I really don't know what to say right now. That's a good indicator. Sometimes Gemini and I women can um, get a little mute when they come across somebody that they are attracted to um, things that turn this woman on again foreplay um, can look like a lot of dirty talk Gemini women love that um, or just a lot of communicative communication period um, can go a really long way I think even stuff like reading excerpts of romance novels and erotica can go a long way because um, it can help them connect mentally to a scene and they can just meld into that um, also, spur of the moment, being very spontaneous. That can be a really big thing um, as well. Storytelling, um, changing your voice, the sound of your voice, the way that you communicate, different things. You, there's so many different things that you can do to just kind of switch it up. You got to know her. You know, you have to study her. And then once you get her comfortable, then she will. Yeah, you won't be able to stop her then. All right, you guys. And that's all that I got for you today. Let me know you guys. Let me know in the comments, you guys, if I missed anything. Um, and if you guys have anything to add, as always, ten cuidate, nos vemos, tengo buen día.